At times, it can be hard to keep up with the needs of your community. However, Office R&D provides a simple way that allows your members to share feedback or report issues they would like you to address. In this video, we'll focus on what our ticketing functionality looks like and how to manage it effectively. Let us begin by showing you how to enable the tickets functionality for your members. You can enable or disable the option from the admin portal once you navigate to Settings, Apps, Member Pages. The feature is labeled Feedback Form Submit a Ticket. Once enabled, the system will allow you to easily keep track of all submitted tickets and further assign them to a different team member to follow up directly from within the admin portal. Once the option is enabled from the admin's portal, your members can submit a ticket through the members portal, either by using the Submit Ticket button in the top right hand corner of the page or through tickets under their personal pages. In order to review their unresolved tickets, your members should navigate to the Tickets section on the Members Portal. Under the Tickets tab, they can find replies by the admin team and keep track of their communications. They can also send more information related to the issue at hand should your teammates have any further questions. There are a few options a member has on this page. Mark as Solved. If the issue has been resolved in the meantime, the member can mark the ticket as solved themselves to let the team know that they don't need to follow up. Add a comment. The member can reply to the ticket, offering more information about the issue at hand or checking for any updates. Submit a ticket. If the member decides to add a new issue or any feedback, they can create a new ticket that will be tracked separately from the current one. Let's talk about how the admin team can track the tickets that are submitted through the portal. You can find all tickets under Collaboration, Tickets. The section has several tabs. Tickets Dashboard, this section will only display tickets with the open status that are currently waiting for an admin's attention. Unassigned, the section displays all tickets that have not been assigned to a teammate yet. Open, displays all tickets that are currently open, regardless of assignment. Pending, shows all tickets that are currently pending, thus waiting for a client's reply. Resolved, the last resolve section allows you to review all tickets that have been marked as resolved. Teammates can also edit tickets from this section. Please note that comments cannot be deleted. Once the reply has been sent out, it will stay there. Office R&D also gives you the opportunity to further customize your ticketing system. The options that would allow the system to be tailored according to your needs can be found in the Settings, Platform, Tickets tab. In the Tickets tab, you can find a list of severity, category, priority options that members and teammates will have when creating a ticket. Let us take a more detailed look at each of the options provided. For starters, under Severity, you can find three default severity options that members and teammates will have when creating a ticket. Critical usually stands for an issue that is preventing the member from continuing their work. Normal would signify that the issue is problematic, but there's no rush towards resolving it. Restricted operations. The member is prevented from working normally, but they can still continue their operations. More options can be added through the Add New Severity button. Bear in mind that all of the three options, Severity, Category, Priority, only have two fields that need to be filled out upon creation. Label, the name of the Severity, Category, Priority option, and Color, the highlight color of the Severity, Category, or Priority. Next in the list are the Category options. Similarly to the Severity part, initially you will see three default options that members and teammates will have when creating a ticket. Feedback, when there's no issue, but a member would like to share their feedback and suggest improvements. Issue, a ticket might be marked as an issue when the member would like some assistance. Software, the member has an issue related to the software they're using in your space, such as the member's portal. Lastly, we have the priority options that teammates will have when creating or assigning a ticket, and we'd like to mention here that your members will not see this setting. Our four default options represent an internal status that the admin team can use to add another layer of prioritization. Right below the options that we just described, there are two additional settings that would further help you with the customization process. The rules section enables you to select how many days a ticket can stay pending for before it is automatically closed. If you leave the field blank, tickets will not change their status automatically. The assigner setting is the last functionality the tickets have has to offer. By enabling it, you can choose a teammate who will automatically be assigned to a ticket based on the tickets category. All you need to do is select the teammate from the drop-down list 
next to each category in the list and hit Update Assigners. Last but not least, Office R&D offers each of your locations to have specific rules applied when it comes to the tickets. In order to configure the set of rules to some or all of your locations, you would have to navigate to Space, Locations, open a location to edit, and select the Tickets tab. In the Tickets tab, you can define the number of active categories and severities that your members would be able to choose from. Additionally, you can also take advantage of our options for automatic ticket closing, as well as assigning a teammate to a ticket category. And this concludes our ticketing functionality setup guide video. If you have any questions regarding this topic or, or other Office R&D functionalities, make sure to visit our knowledge base at help.officerd.com or email us at support at to get further assistance.